<laughs> He's so cool. Okay. How do people intro? This is old Murph from Tiny Tina's Wonderland. The best game ever. He has little pointy toes and he's adorable and I love him. And if you would like to see how I made him, then stick around and we're going to do that. Okay, so I got this little gnomey guy. His eyes light up. Hold on. His eyes light up. How cool is that? I found this for $7 at my local Michael's. It was part of their spring decor and it reminded me of Old Murph's level in Tiny Tina. So I'm going to use him as a base to try to make a cool little desktop light up little old nerf. I don't know. I really want to see if I can make his eyes blue. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we're going to try. And I just think he's adorable and so cute. Okay, so old Murph doesn't have ears, so we're going to dremel these little spiky ears off and hopefully that works. It's a uh, mask and safety glasses time. So at this point I was kind of just trying to bulk out the general features of the character and get rid of the super duper gnomey shape because Old Nerf is like a gnome troll thing. Don't really know what he is but he's cute-ish. <laughs> Okay, I went and got some water. There's a fucking fly, what? Windows have been open all day and now there's bugs in the house. Anyways, I finished bulking out old Murph and I gave him some pointy little shoes like he has and kind of got something. I know it looks really rough right now, but trust the process. I'm gonna smooth all this out with some water and then I'm gonna go back in and start doing some of the detail parts. Hopefully that works. And hopefully he still lights up. He does. I'm just gonna use my finger to smooth this out because to be honest I'm a little lazy. Okay, so I have everything smoothed out and now I'm just going to work on sculpting some little tiny details. I'm going to make his eyes a little bit more circular for now. They're good how they are. I hate flies. Okay, so far this is what we're working with. I'm really, really happy with it and I think it looks really good. And I'm going to add his ugly little belly button and then I think we're gonna just let this dry and then get ready to start painting it. I'm so excited, he looks so cool. Alright, just to check in, I am entirely done with sculpting him. So far, I think he looks so, so cute and so, so good. And, well, he's not really cute. He's kind of scary, but you guys get the gist. He's adorable. I love him. 
we're gonna let this dry for two-ish hours, give or take, and then we'll be back to paint him. All right, guys, update. I have a blowtorch, a little one. I'm super impatient for this to dry because it takes literally forever, like, I'm talking, it takes like three days to dry fully. So I'm gonna torch it and paint it and hope for the best. Don't do this at home, kids. I'm also torching this because I wrapped clay around a pre-existing surface and sometimes when you do that, if it doesn't dry fully correctly, it will like start to crack and it won't hold its shape if it doesn't dry immediately. So it still isn't fully dried, but I think it's dry enough that I could paint it without it being a ginormous problem for me. Okay, we're back and Old Murph has fully dried for the most part. He's dry enough for us to paint him, so we're going to start painting him. And then there was some clay water that got on the lenses, so I'm just going to clean those off real fast. Okay, so for paint job, he's mostly like a greenish yellow for his skin, and then his little pants and his shoes are red, as well as the hat. So we're going to start with the green base and the red base, and then go from there. And of course, with Mr. Murph here, we are going to do the classic cell shading from Borderlands at the very end, after we get the base colors. After all the base coat was dry, I, I can't talk. <laughs> After the base coat was entirely dry, I went in with extremely watered down black and I just brushed it all over everything and then wiped it off as I went to get into all the crevices. And I added a teensy little bit of shading where I felt like it was necessary. At this point I was happy with all the shading that I did and all of the weathering so I started to go back in with some brighter colors of the base colors to brighten things back up and highlight certain areas. Then I let literally everything dry completely, and then I went in with some black and some white to highlight and outline, and give him that classic Borderlands cell shaded look. Lastly, I finished up his little eyes and now he is done and I think he turned out so freaking cute. I love his pointy little shoes and I'm really happy with the cell shading. I think that it makes him look so much more like a Borderlands character. He has a couple little cracks that are probably a little bit hard to see on camera, but some of his head kind of cracked a little bit while it was drying. Even though I torched it, as I said, um, this tends to happen with air dry clays. They just crack if you're putting them over something, but 
he's not like gonna break apart or anything so I'm gonna consider it a win let me turn his little eyeballs on I think he's adorable and I think he looks so cute just like back there all right guys if you enjoyed watching me make old Murph from tiny teens wonderland give me a like for the video pretty please and subscribe to my channel for more stuff similar to this little man right here. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions for things that you would like to see me make or props from games, movies, pretty much literally anything, leave them below in the comments and I'll try to get around to making them. This is a new era for this channel, obviously. I have my nice little backdrop set up. I worked really, really hard on it, so you better appreciate it. I have a cute little bat light. I have some props and some cool things sitting back here. There's a little bit of empty space to fill with more props like little old Murph right here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you guys stick around to hang out with me in the future and join my many ventures of making absurd shit that has literally no purpose in life. Bok? Kato? Okay, so... I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Okay, bye. I don't... Goodbye. We're done. We're done. This is the end.